So let's start with uh, some arm bars, okay, to mount, okay, just to warm up. One person will be like pushing your chest, so you go one hand under, one hand over, okay, see, under, over. The side you go over is the side you pass the leg, okay. So what I'm going to do, I will squat, okay, and then I'll pass my leg over his, uh, his head, but I'll do that in one motion, okay, just like that. And then I'll get the armbar, okay. So usually like sometimes when I'm fighting people like, they, sometimes they try to push you forward like this, okay? So you have a great opportunity to catch the armbar here, okay? So when you see like they're extending the arm, you put your weight on their hand, okay? Don't go away because then they're gonna bring the arm back, okay? So keep like putting the weight on the hand right here. So you're going one under, one over, okay? Look, as I'm squatting, uh, my groin needs to be touching his triceps, okay? I cannot stand up and have my groin like near his elbow. That's not gonna work. So I gotta go with my butt really close to his shoulder here, okay? So my groin and butt like really close here. I cannot like go super high. I use this foot here, kinda like an S mount, okay? And at the same time I'll face the other side using the moment to pass the leg over. Like this, I get the armbar. One side. Other side. You see, like after I get the armbar, these are my legs here. Get to mount, and again. Okay, so over and over. Very simple, easy. Okay, let's practice like that, and then we go to the next. One, two, three. Hey, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, you can like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to click on the button that looks like a little bell so you can receive notifications every time we post new videos on the YouTube channel. We help you, we help the community, and let's spread the arts to everyone. Us. We're gonna be on this situation here where I'm ready to attack the arm bar and my opponent is defending. Usually they go like a rear naked choke. They grab their biceps and then they cover like this. Or they grab their collar and they pass the other hand on top like this. So they're protecting the arm, right, of course. If you allow me to stretch his arm, he's gonna, he's gonna hurt his elbow, right? He's gonna tap out. So he's gonna do this first and then he's gonna try to come up towards me, right? And then scissor his legs and then he's gonna start smashing me and then take his elbow out until he start like passing my guard, okay? So it's, it's gonna be hard for him to do that from here, so he needs to turn towards me, okay? I'll take advantage on that. I have two situations here. I can use this hand inside or this hand inside, okay? If I use the same side of uh, the head, in this case, my outside hand, okay? I'll grab here. I can control his legs. That's a good thing, okay? Can I do this way? Yes, I can do this way as well because I can pose my hand on the floor. I gotta lean more this way. I like to grab the armbar like this. Okay, I don't like to grab here, okay? I don't like to grab here. And when you go to the armbar too, you gotta go all the way with your elbow linked with his elbow, okay? You cannot just go with the wrist like this. It's gonna be weak. So you gotta put all your arm inside. Then you're here. So if you grab the collar, the problem of grabbing the collar, you cannot put your back on the floor. You see that my lower back is not touching the floor? So by, by doing that, he can easily like turtle and look. I have limitation on my body, go back. But when I grab my thigh, okay, when he tried to come up, I can use my lower back on the floor right now. You see that I can touch my lower back on the floor. Even though I'm putting the weight on him, I can still like having my lower back on the floor. Now it's harder for him to come up. Come up, come. It's a little bit harder for him to come up. I can't maintain lower. If I'm grabbing here, I kind of like limit myself. It's not wrong, okay, but it's just the way that I like to do. The reason that I'm grabbing with this hand right here is because now with my outside hand, the hand that's close to his head, I'm gonna go between the arms and I'll grab the top arm here, like this, okay? I'll do this. Now, I will pulse the hand on his hips right here. Okay, I can pulse on the floor as well. But I like to pulse on the hips on this side, taking the leg out. See, this leg out. And I'll mount on him like this, like an ass mount. Immediately I'll change the knees. Look, my knees like facing this way. I'm gonna just change, look, this way. 
See? I make this exchange here. See that I'm facing this way? Now look, my knee goes, my this knee goes to the floor and the other knee goes up. And then I'll pass the leg over. And since there's nothing on top of this arm, it'll be easier for me to attack this arm. Then I'll finish it. Okay, again, I'll get on the side. Again, I'm controlling him. My hand goes between the arms. Control his triceps. Post my hand on his, on his uh, hip. Take the leg out. Look how I take the leg out. I don't take the leg out like this. I just keep my knee here and I bring my foot close to my butt. And I mount to him as I S mount. Now I make the exchange right here. And get the arm bar. Okay? Now I got the arm bar. And I go again. Step one. You see that I cover his triceps. Okay? I cover his triceps and bring his arm close to my chest. Post my hand on his hip. Taking the leg out, mount on him, I'm on the ass mount. Exchange, that's what I go. Okay? Notice that my, my butt is always on top of his chest and near his shoulders. Okay? The whole time. I need to focus on trapping his triceps. Okay, go down here. From here, outside hand goes between the arms, control the triceps. Post my hand on his hip. As I do this, I go like on top. I use my foot on the floor here to come up and I change. See that my butt is slide on his chest. Here, I'm not doing this. I don't lose contact, okay? I always keep the contact with my opponent here, okay? And as I turn my butt to the other side, I pass the leg over, like that. That's how I do fast. Again, so I'm here, step one, step two, Okay, just keep doing that over and over for a minute. We'll go two times. The first minute is just for you to understand the technique, okay? The second I want you to do as fast as possible, okay? So one, two, three. Over 10,000 hours of training content across nearly 5,000 individual videos, we're here to help you reach your highest level of achievement. It's available online, wherever you are, and made for people just like you. Excuses disappear when you set sight on your best self. With Atos Online training in the palm of your hand, you're unstoppable. Quit wasting time and start developing your competitive edge with Atos Online. Join today and get started for as little as $25 a month. Your future is worth it. Train smarter, study more, be legendary. So I'm on the armbar here, okay? Very common position. A lot of people struggle on Finish the arm bar here. There's different ways for you to break the grip here and get the arm off your opponent. So this is very common. Okay? When I'm here, this is a very common defense. Okay? So Dom will control his top arm like this. Uh, using the outside arm, okay? the arm that's not attacking. You gotta put on top the, of the arm that I'm attacking in order to defend. Okay? Sometimes he's gonna grab his collar, right? So I change, then I go focus on the top arm. So when I get his arm here, make sure you bring his, his biceps, okay, over his forearm, okay, here. And also, you trap his bottom arm right now with your forearm here too. Because you don't want to go on top and let the opponent change the arm or frame, like defend the arm again, like, put the, like now he changed here. If I attack this arm right now, he's gonna be defending, right? If that happens, like defend him. If that happens here, I can go back here on the top arm, and now I go back and finish it. Okay, my goal is always attacking the top arm. To prevent my opponent from uh, getting those frames, when I'm going to mount here, you see that's why I just step my foot out. You see that my knee is still on top of his face. Okay, so when I go on top, I'm pinching my, my knees here, and his, his triceps is still in between my legs, okay? Because if I let his triceps or his forearm goes here, he probably has a chance to frame and escape. Okay, but in the meantime, I'm doing the exchange here, and I'm still able like to attack his arm. Okay, of course during the fight I'm not gonna go slow. I gotta go really fast. We got here, control, pressure. I put a lot of pressure here, and now 
I go super fast and then you extend his arm, okay? Another thing that can happen here, when I get here, the opponent put his arm under my leg. He closed the rear naked choke and he put this arm under. Now it's harder for me to get, but even though I have the option to get here, okay? And when I take my leg out, naturally, his end will go out. Okay, you don't need to worry so much, okay? But also what you can do here, and one of the things that I like to do, since uh, I'm a white belt, I learned this as a white belt, and definitely helps me a lot, especially when I fight someone with a really strong arm. As I mentioned before, if you're uh, smaller than your opponent, and you're here, and your opponent's really strong, right? He's really, really strong compared to, to your uh, strength. you hear here, and you know like it's gonna be a really tough, uh, you're gonna have a really tough time trying to beat his grip or try to extend his arm, okay? So what I do, I go to his back from here, okay? Because when I go to the back, it's easier for me to finish him. Nobody's as strong on the neck. I like to go to the back because once I choke the opponent, it's hard for me to resist. Maybe on the arm, he can like resist more. Keep your hand here. He's gonna keep the hand here, look. The hand that's on my, th on my lap right here, I'll grab four fingers and I, look, I close my legs and I need to bring my heel to my butt, okay? I need to keep really close to him because if I'm loose, if I'm grabbing the collar, he can put the elbow on the floor, put the elbow like this. I don't want that happen, okay? So when I'm here, I need to use my hand on the floor and I bring my butt really close to his shoulder and my heel really close, like aiming my butt here, okay? So like this. So now I try to put your elbow on the floor. It's hard for me to do that. So now what I do, I have the hand on his collar here, see? I have the hand here, okay? I'm here. So what I do, I take the leg out and I give him an opportunity to sit up. As he's sitting up, I put my knee behind his back and I use his hand to bring him here. And I push him on top of me with my, with my knee. So now I'm on his back. So immediately this hand, We'll attack his neck. Okay, controlling the collar. Then I'll put both hooks in, okay? So I'm ready to attack him. Step my leg over his, his hips, push him down between my legs, pass the leg over his shoulder, and then finish him right here, okay? And do face the other side. Same arm, same side attack. Look, I'm here. He's resisting, right? Make sure you close your legs, okay? Some people say, oh, it's not right for you to close the legs. No, it's good, okay, don't worry. This is you tracking him here, okay? Make sure you have this connection here, okay? So he doesn't turn towards you. So the hand that's on your left, you control, holding four fingers on the collar, okay? You take the leg out and you lay down, pulling him to you. You really want him to come up. Use your knee to bring him. Now look. Grab his neck here. Once I grab the neck, grab the collar, thumb inside, I'm ready to attack him. I just changed my grip right now though. See, so pretty much the first grip that I have will give the, the collar to the other hand. Now, I control, okay? Once I control both collars, I step my leg on his hip, push him between my legs. Now I step my leg over his shoulder, lock my feet here, no problem and I use my inner thigh against my forearm, okay? And at the same time, I will move my wrist like this to choke him out. Some people, when they get here, they just focus on the arm like this. But by putting your, your inner thigh over your forearm and squeeze, you're already forcing to tap because the squeeze comes from the collar and from the forearm, okay? So you're here, you close the legs and then you go like this, okay? If you try to like bridge towards you, right? Like bridge like this, uh, towards me, don't. Like try to go, yeah, and then you bring him this way. Okay, and then you finish him. You can even change for a reverse triangle. This is like for people who already have good experience. You just know how to do the reverse triangle. If not, just keep on the choke, okay? So more like a diagonal here. Like this, yes, like this. So I'm here. In this position, right? So I'm trying to finish him. I'm curling my, my legs, try to come up them. I keep my back on the floor. You see, like by using my hand here, 
I can like put my lower back on the floor. It's hard for him to come up. Like he's hide his end behind my, my leg, okay? Like this. Now I feel like, oh, it's hard for me to grab his, his arm. So I grab his collar, okay? Four fingers inside his collar. Now, close, and then I go, look. Control. Okay, very simple. Let's work from there right now, okay? And then we're gonna practice like the, the, next, uh, the next drill is gonna be more like up to you. You're gonna set up an arm bar and then you end up on that situation and you can work on all these things that we learned today. Very simple, very basic, okay? You guys have any question? Any question? Question? Yes? The one that I go to the other arm? Yeah, yeah, that one. So uh, sometimes on the top arm, is that like, can you like arm up the top arm, like a straight, like over? Is that uh, high percentage or not? Yeah, so you mean, this is, okay. this is my good side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean like here? Yes. Like you mean like here, like this? Yeah. Uh, I don't like this. I feel like to finish him, his hand should be on this side. Then it makes sense for me to go for the arm. I feel like right here, it's easier for Dom to turn his thumb up. And I don't have the leverage to finish him. But when his end is on this side, it's hard for him to get the thumb up. So I can use my head here to finish. Okay? So if he's on this side, don't do it. Like if he's on this side, you just gotta go here. Okay? All right. Let's go. One, two, three. So right now, like the person who's drilling, right, will do like more dynamic, okay, just like in the fight. So you gotta find a way to get into the arm bar in that situation. And then you're gonna have the choices of like changing to the other arm. You know, the person who's defending the arm always gonna do this, okay? So you have the ass mount arm bar going to the other side, or you can attack the back, okay? I like to go to the back a lot when, uh, when the person on, on, who's defending here, it's, it's really trying to come up, you know, you hear, they're really trying to come up like this. You just let them sit up and then take their back, okay? So, right now Dom will choose like any sweep, anything he likes to get on that situation. Go Dom. And now it's my turn. Yeah, I can do the technique that we worked yesterday. Sit on the legs. So I'm here dropping on the floor. Boom. Sweep him. Get a nice arm bar here. Right? So I'm in the same position. Control. Take this back. Finish. The yeah, edges. Going like that. So you gotta find ways where you link the technique, okay? Alright? Uh, four fingers inside, also. So I was here, I go like this, four fingers inside. My thumb up towards his shoulder. Like to up, okay? All right. Okay, so if you've never done any sweep or anything like that, so you just start from mount and attack the armbar, okay? But if you already know uh, the sweeps, you can start from the top too, pass the guard, you know, go to armbar and then make the transitions. Right. You can make transitions to mount as Dom did, right? Uh, you can take the back and after you take the back, you set up an arm bar from the back, they're defending and then you, you do again, okay? Just be creative, right? Let's go one, two, three. 